तो जनाब मैं मौजूद हूँ नेशनल स्टेडियम कराची में एक दिन बाकी है तारीखी पाकिस्तान ऑस्ट्रेलिया सेकंड टेस्ट एट नेशनल स्टेडियम कराची और आप मेरा कपड़े देख सकते हैं कि तमाम तर तैयारियाँ मुकम्मल कर ली गई हैं लेकिन मैं आप सबसे फिर बोलूँगा कल के वी की तरह कि जो स्पेशली कराची में लोग मौजूद हैं भाई आप ज़रूर इस मैच को देखने भी आएँ क्योंकि ये बहुत आसान होता है कि हम बैठ के तबसरे कर लें आप फैंस उठ के तनकीद कर लें बट अगर आप अपने शहर में होने वाली क्रिकेट को देखने नहीं आ सकते हैं ना वो भी जो सौ रुपये का टिकट हो तो यकीन जानिए कि फिर आपको शायद तनकीद का मैं तो नहीं कहूँगा पूरा हक आपसे चीन लूँ मैं कौन होता हूँ लेकिन मैं कहूँगा कि फिर ये मज़ा नहीं आएगा तो आपको ज़रूर सबसे पहले तो क्रिकेट को आ के सपोर्ट करना चाहिए डैट इज़ मोस्ट इम्पॉर्टेंट थिंग क्योंकि पूरी दुनिया में ग्राउंड भरे होते हैं और क्रिकेट को इन्जॉय किया जा रहा होता है तो जनाब ये है अब मैच से एक दिन पहले की सूरत हाल पिच को अभी भी कवर किया गया है लेकिन जैसे ऑस्ट्रेलिया ने आज आपको पता ही है कि मिच स्वेपसन को जो कि लेग्स में उनको डेब्यू कराने का ऐलान कर दिया है उनके ख्याल में नाइथ एंड नॉइन डेब्यू खेल रहे हैं स्वेपसन खेलेंगे कि जहाँ पर गेंद टर्न ज़रूर होगा और इसी वजह से उन्होंने अपनी हमत अमली को तब्दील किया है हैदर वर्ल्ड वर्ल्ड क्लास बॉलर हैं बट उनको यहाँ पर रेस्ट करवाया गया है पाकिस्तान ने दूसरी जानब टीम तो अनाउंस नहीं की बट लाइकली यही है कि पाकिस्तान टीम जो है वो दो चेंजेस करेगी हसन अली आ जाएंगे नसीम शाह की जगह और इसकी जरा अगर हम बात करें वही मशरफ आ जाएंगे इश्तार अहमद की जगह तो ये दो बड़ी ऑब्वियस सी चेंजेस हैं और आप देख सकते हैं ग्राउंड इस्पेशली बस यार अगर सिर्फ सामने ग्रह कहते ना ये सीट्स वगैरह बहुत अच्छी है कलर स्कीम में मरिंडा फैरल ने इसकी बड़ी तारीफ़ की पॉस्टी जर्नलिस्ट आई हुई हैं ग्राउंड को अच्छा लगा लेकिन सामने बस अलग करेगी जो पिच है उसके पीछे वाली जो आपको वो जनरल स्टैंड दिखाई दे रहा है यहाँ सीटें ज़रूर लग जाएँ और परमानेंट लग जाए जैसे लगा है सबका आके व्यू के पैसे होते हैं व्यू बेस्ट है उसके पैसे चार्ज कीजिए बट सीट सबके लिए होनी चाहिए तो जनाब ऑस्ट्रेलियन टीम अब से कुछ देर पहले यहाँ से प्रैक्टिस करी गई है और हम यही एक्सपेक्ट कर सकते हैं कि अब एक बहुत अच्छा हमें जो है वो टेस्ट मैच यहाँ पर देखने को मिलेगा सो ऑस्ट्रेलियन जर्नलिस्ट हैं एडम कॉलिस उनके साथ बात करते हैं वो मेरा इंतज़ार कर रहे हैं उनसे जब बात करके उनसे पूछते हैं कि उनकी इस टेस्ट मैच पे क्या राय है और आपके साथ जो है वो फिर हम बात कर लेंगे सो so, ये है यहाँ से ग्राउंड के वाले से रिपोर्ट एडम कॉलेज के पास जाता है क्यों सो जनाब हम वी लॉक के ऊपर बहुत सारी बात करते हैं लेकिन अब हमने जब एक्सपर्ट ओपिनियन लेनी होती है तो मैं पाकिस्तानी जर्नलिस्ट से और मैं खुद बता देता हूँ लेकिन जो एक फॉरेन जर्नलिस्ट का पॉइंट ऑफ व्यू होता है बड़ा इंपॉर्टेंट होता है एडम कॉलेज इज विद वेलकम टू कराची एंड <laughs> I love it. What a great city! It's thriving. We've been out the last couple of nights, out on the town, seeing what's there to be had, and lovely food, wonderful hospitality, a vibrant city, as I mentioned before, and just so happy to be here at the National Stadium, a famous old ground, going back to 1955. So a real privilege to be not only in Pakistan but in this metropolis. Absolutely, and nothing better than a very good cricket, cricketing weather, of sunshine. No forecast for the rain. A typical Karachi, a cricket suitable environment. So Adam, I uh, think a lot of talk about the eleven. Obviously, uh, coming to the real the Australian eleven, Pakistan never. I don't know why they always announce on the toss. But I think the most important thing right behind us is the pitch. Our pitch pitch is the ICC verdict on the on the pendy pitch. So. This is going to be a much talk thing in the next five days. Let's see. Yeah, well, look, Pindi didn't break up. This yeah. should. It's a used pitch here at Karachi. Some PSL games were played on it. The square is completely barren, with the exception of a little bit of brass on the pitch to hold it together. But Australia have shown their hand, as you say, naming two spinners, Mitchell Schwepson, yeah. uh, getting his opportunity to make a Test debut some five years after entering yeah. the squad. They've not played a leg spinner uh, since 2009 as a front liner, so it's quite a big deal. For them to make that strategic call uh, well out ahead of the toss, so that would suggest that they think the pitch is going to break up and that one of the teams can spin their way to victory, as was the case here when Pakistan defeated South Africa last year, where seven yeah. seen of the twenty wickets for the spin. Absolutely, and uh, Adam, uh, so tell us please something about uh, Mitch Swepson because I read up uh, something about it. Even Maninder told me yesterday that Shane Warne once rated him very high, yep. and of course. Uh, I saw him uh, bowling, of course, on the YouTube and the video. He looks a very good leg spinner, wonderful action, and I think uh, what what I am actually uh, can view him about his bowling. I think he will be able to spin a ball, a bit of ball. Yeah, he, he does spin it a long way. We've seen that when he's played red ball cricket for Queensland. He was very effective in the Sheffield Shield a couple of years ago. Just to remind people that he's a match winner, especially in the fourth innings. He's, he started to develop that as well, being able to bowl teams out on the final day. So. If the pitch does break up, he'll be a real weapon. He's happy to also bowl defensively, and that's T20 cricket, isn't it? 
played in the Big Bash for a long time, and he knows how to bowl a more defensive pace, I suppose you would say, and squeeze batsmen uh, to make sure that he can keep the run rate down. So yeah, he's a good combination of uh, frugality and effectiveness in turn, uh, and thus I think that at test level and a pitch that should give him something, uh, it's a nice place to make his test of it. And I think I will definitely will definitely discuss this point as well that Yasser Shah plus uh, Epson. Obviously, uh, Babur told in uh, one of the uh, conference both of us said that he is not fit. But but I think uh, God, Adam, you will be agree that a fit Yasser Shah would have been a very very different series for Australia because Noman and Sajid very seasoned domestic sure. performers, but don't they don't have the much international feel and the Yasser Epson is really hurting Pakistan. Oh look, that, that, that's look, that, that's they're your words. I mean, I think that Yasser yeah. Shah. Um, averages more against Australia. Well, in Australia, he's had a dreadful run of yeah, of course. Um, he's had like two, any other uh, Pakistan. Yeah, player. he's had two of the worst tours ever in yeah. Australia um, back in uh, um, back in uh, 16, 17, and, yeah. and, and a couple of summers ago. So Australia have made it, and he wasn't able to bowl Australia out of the bye in 2018 either. So yeah. I, I think I regard Yasir Shah highly. Of course, I do, but um, he has been overtaken in the pecking order. Uh, reasonably so by Naman Ali and uh, Sajid Khan, and I think that whilst yes, having a leg spinning option would stand to reason, I understand why he's dropped down the pecking order and why he isn't anymore one of the first teams, one of the first players rather on the team sheet. So, what is your uh, first hand sort of prediction? But your you know, opinion about that Karachi page and how this test will progress, and obviously yep. uh, Australia, I think as a batting unit, will be very happy that they, they, yep. they, they have a very decent time uh, in the middle in the Rawal 20. That will help them. Yeah, no predictions for me, mate. I don't make uh, them for a test match, but I think that, um, one of the teams will take 20 wickets. Wow, that's solid. So, in the end, uh, that split saga, obviously, uh, Rawal 20 and obviously the Pidoya become. Do you think it will be a pressure on? Maybe uh, for the curators, maybe a hole in PCB or something like this. Or do you think it's a normal thing? It will pass, and next two days will be all right. As for the pitchers, I, 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 I think that was the pitch last week. They could have played on three days before the test, and they can still be playing it on it now. It's one of the worst pitches I've ever seen in, in Test cricket that I've covered quite a bit of, unfortunately. And I say that with a heavy heart because Royal Pindi yeah. was a great venue, and yeah. and the Islamabad people and the Royal Pindi people are marvelous hosts, and I can't wait to go back there. For test cricket in the future, but I would have had it as a lower grade if, I, if it were me. I would have had it um, with two demerit points instead of one uh, because there was no competitive tension between that and ball, which is unfortunate. But that won't be the case here. I, I genuinely think, looking at it and uh, judging uh, by what we've heard from the team so far, that there should be a better balance. And yeah, looking forward to seeing that play out over the next five days, or maybe four, or maybe three. We'll see how we go. Yeah. And lastly, I think Nathan Lyon, one of the best spinners in the world right now. So I think we should discuss him as well. <laughs> Nathan Lyons, a, a champion of Australian cricket, in yeah. excess of 400 Test wickets, and you never write off a champion. So he took one wicket last week across, was it 76 overs at the bowling crease, something like that. But um, Lyon has shown historically over a long stretch of time that the moment that people start doubting him tends to be the moment that he plays a match winning hand for Australia. So um, yeah, doubt him at your peril. Uh, thank you so much, Adam, and have a great time in Karachi. Mate, great to see you. Thank you. So Good much. on you. Thank you so Good much. Good with you. तो ये थे एडम कॉलेज हमारे साथ और यहीं पर हम अपने जो है वो वी लॉक का भी काम करेंगे और आप जरूर बताइएगा आप कितने एक्साइटेड हैं जो कराची में बैठे हैं ना और आप ये वीडियो देख रहे हैं अगर आप टेस्ट मैच देखने नहीं आए तो लड़ाई हो जानी है आई थिंक वी शुड सपोर्ट टेस्ट क्रिकेट आप सब आइए इस टेस्ट मैच को देखिए इस शोर मचाइए और जिस तरह रावल पिंडी ने इंजॉय किया था वैसे इंजॉय कीजिए कल पहले दिन के इख्ताम पर आप नई वी लॉक के साथ मुलाकात होगी अपना क्या रखिएगा टेक केयर